Sorry guys, I got a bad cough. On the upside, we are Venom. How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. For the last seven days, I was up on the mountain taking some tourists around to see our amazing nature. And that's what this vlog was supposed to be about. But unfortunately, I didn't have time to look through any of the footage, much less put it together for this vlog. So I had another idea. A little while ago, I went to see the premiere of Venom and it was a cool movie. And right after one of my friends was like, hey, can you record a narration for one of the videos I'm making for the company I'm working in? Which I did do, but also as a joke, I sent him some of the script in the Venom voice. And he thought it was cool and I thought it was kind of funny so I sent a couple more clips like this to my friends and they were like, wow, that's awesome. So I thought maybe there are people out there who want to learn to do something like this. And that is how this tutorial came to be. So first of all, the software I'm working in is called Cool Edit Pro 2.1, which is the last version of Adobe Audition before Adobe bought it and it became Adobe Audition. So it's the, the Adobe Audition minus one. But it really doesn't make a difference because Adobe Audition is pretty much the same, has the same layout. You'll see that it's very familiar. But regardless of whatever type of audio software you use, the principle is the same. And that is what I want to teach you. Now, just like in any kind of production, the pre-production and production is about 80% of the final product and post-production is just 20%. So all this to say that if you record a cool piece of audio and add a little bit of effects, it's gonna sound awesome. But if you have crappy audio, no, no amount of effects in post-production is gonna make it sound cool. So focus as much effort as you can on that first part. And of course, some of these clips are gonna sound hilarious before you put any effects on like, so you don't want it to sound like, we are Venom. We are, Ven we are Venom. We are Venom. Try to, try to get as low voice as you can and have a really pronounced um, pronunciation and then get as close to your mic as possible because that gives this kind of intimacy and it makes it sound more scary in this scenario <coughs> <coughs> we are venom so now in my case I'd go to effects time pitch go to stretch essentially what you want to do is transpose it so you want to put it down a couple keys now if you want the venom voice you're probably gonna go like four or five semitones if you want something passive like the trailer guy or if you have a really low voice naturally then you'd only go like two or three semitones so this is the most important step and then when we apply it is gonna sound something like this we are venom so you may be happy with the first result, but that is definitely not it. Now we're gonna go to delay effect and chorus. Now you just have to play around with the sliders. There's no specific way, but what chorus does is pretty much multiply the voices because when you listen to Venom, you can hear there are different layers, higher, lower, and that is to portray the kind of multiple personalities this whole Venom thing was kind of a parallel story about. So we add chorus to make it sound like there are more voices and it's gonna sound like this. We are Venom. Okay, that's great, but now what's missing is some kind of reverb or an echo and as you can remember from all the trailer guy voices when they talk it sounds like they're in a huge room so and you can add that by adding several delay effects you can add delay or reverb or full reverb they can all work if you play around with them and find the effect you want if you add too much reverb it's gonna sound like this we are venom which is not cool because it sounds like you're stuck in a metal barrel in the middle of a concert hall. So it, it kind of has to be mild. Let's try something else. We are Venom. And there you go. You learned the basics for making an awesome effect like that. Of course, if you play around, maybe make it a little bit more subtle. You can also do it as a trailer guy voice. For example. In a world where the unemployment rate was over 57%, one man. Ooh, that gives me an idea for my channel trailer. Anyway, guys, I hope you found the tutorial useful and that you'll stick around for next time I make something like this. Hmm, I have to think about my YouTube channel trailer. One man and his camera taking on every job they can just to survive.